It's a tough season. Um, from the beginning to the end of the season, I think I learned more than more than two years combined. I think in F4 and, and the previous F3. So honestly, I, I I'm not quite satisfied with the results, but. Um, Look, to finish P2 is not, not a disaster at all. And you took that momentum right into the Formula 2 testing in Abu Dhabi. You've just come out of that looking really good. Indeed. I mean, I'm, I'm really lucky. In fact, I've been spoiled to be with such professional teams so far in my, in my single-seater career. And at Prima, now ART, and they're very strong. They know how to teach the drivers the right things. And frankly, I feel really, really safe and in good hands going into them, uh, with, their, with them, sorry. So, yeah, I mean, uh, things are going well, but next year it's going to be all different with the, with the new rims and everything, so it's going to be interesting. What did the F2 car feel like after F3? Uh, it's got a bit more power, obviously. There's a turbo um, that's quite powerful indeed. Uh, the car itself is not so different. Uh, the tyre is obviously very complicated. The legendary story of the Pirelli. Um, which I finally got to discover, um, but it's not, it's not easy to manage at all. And finally, Macau looking really good at the beginning of the weekend. Yeah, uh, yeah, it looked really strong in FP1, we were P1, and to be honest, I wasn't really pushing, so I thought we were, we were in a really good condition for the rest of the weekend. Uh, also in Q2, you know, when, when it's time to put everything on the table, I was fast, but unfortunately I made a mistake and hit the wall. Winning too hot. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, and it happens, especially at Macau. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you.